Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys a neat little gadget that everyone, uh, that I think everyone of you should be bringing around in your uh, in your go-to bag when you're out flying or even when you're just uh, out traveling. So if you're if you've been into the hobby for quite some time now, you probably have uh, you know a couple of these uh, lipo batteries lying around, or even the ones that you use with your quad. So uh, what I have here is a uh, it's a voltage uh, regulator or rather a step down step down converter so what it basically does is it converts anything from 6 volts to 40 volts uh, which goes in through here and then it outputs it into uh, two 5 volt dual USB outputs so this can power either you know an iPhone or an Android phone one of your smartphones or any basically any other uh, USB device you might have like a GoPro or an action camera or even your, you know, a smartwatch or, you know, your Fitbit. So today I'm, I'm going to show you how, uh, how you can take, you know, something that you have, you probably have a lot of, or, you know, you're, you, you probably have at least one or two of these in your, in your kit. So when you're out in the field, you probably might not have a portable battery with you, or maybe a socket uh, is not uh, readily available. But what you do have in ready supply are your LiPo batteries for your quad or your tricopter or whatever, whatever you're flying. And uh, what we're going to do is, is, you know, you can use this, uh, any LiPo battery you have, it may be a 3S, 4S, or, or even a 6S battery. With this, uh, with this uh, little gadget that we have, you can... Uh, you're never going to run out of power because you can hook this up directly. And what you just need is a spare XT60 connector that we can you can connect your battery. And depending on which model you got, this one already has uh, holes which you can just tighten. Insert the the you know the the wires in there which you can just tighten, and we might not need any soldering at all. So we'll give that a try. But first, we're gonna try shortening this XT60 connector because it's a little bit too long so maybe probably we'll just leave an inch uh, available here okay we'll cut it one by one all right okay we'll put now that you've cut and uh, stripped uh, your XT60 connector you just have to uh, you know Plug this uh, inside the holes, and it might it's a little bit tight. It's a bit of a tight fit. And then once that, once they're in, you just have to tighten the screws on this one. Now I am going to uh, post uh, some. I'm gonna post the links to this particular uh, model uh, in the description down below. But uh, you know, not all models have uh, this kind of uh, socket. Or, or header so uh, in some case you might have to you know do some sol soldering solder your XTC connector directly to your board so but uh, in, in my case uh, this is already good to go so let's give it a try all right now that's done we've trimmed our XT60 connector and uh, slotted it into the header terminal of our uh, of our dual USB charger now, depending on which model you buy, uh, you might have to solder it directly onto the board, but in this particular instance, I just need to, to slot it in and then tighten the screws over here. So first things first, uh, let's plug it into our battery and make sure that no smoke comes out of it. All right, seems, uh, seems like a good, uh, good connection, good setup. So now we're gonna plug in my Garmin uh, smartwatch and see if it's charging. Right, you see the battery icon over at the bottom? It's a little bit blurred, but uh, it is in fact charging. There you go. So I wanted to show you um, uh, me charging my iPhone, but unfortunately I'm taking the video using my iPhone, so uh, that's not gonna be possible. So there you have it. We just like, uh, this This costs just around $3. You can get it, get it from Banggood, I'm gonna link it to it below and maybe show you some more pictures. But there, uh, with this, you know, you're never, your smartphone or your action cam is never going to run out of battery when you're out in the field because for sure you're going to be having, uh, uh, you, you're going to have with you one of these, uh, one of your LiPo batteries for either your goggles or your drone. Alrighty, so here it is again, a close-up of, uh, of our XT60 
or lipo battery to dual 5 volt uh, USB charger and uh, so you, it's, it's it's all good uh, you know the terminal is uh, nice and tight so it's not going anywhere but you might want to add additional protection just in case so if you need to throw it into your bag or you know uh, if you accidentally drop it onto wet grass you know uh, just to make sure that it's not uh, it's not it's not going to destroy your device you might want to cover this in sticky tape if you have a if you have a large enough diameter of um, heat shrink that would do but uh, in the, this particular case I don't have any any uh, any uh, heat shrink that's big enough so you know uh, electrical tape would probably would, uh, would, uh, would do just fine so just make sure to cover everything make it make sure it's all sealed up and uh, don't forget to cover even uh, even the terminals just to make sure that there's some extra um, you know extra protection uh, in case you pull you pull hard on those wires so there you go and we just just cut that up All right so it's it's not very beautiful but uh, it'll do just fine and uh, of course it's not gonna be totally waterproof but at least you know if you do get some a little bit of splashes or you drop it onto wet grass then uh, this is gonna be uh, adequate protection just to make sure that you know you don't get a short circuit and destroy your device and or your lipo and or your iPhone which is which is gonna cost you a lot more money Right, so in the end, uh, eventually I decided to uh, desolder the terminal header and uh, solder the XT60 connector directly onto the board because uh, the terminal header wasn't clamping onto the XT60 connector as, uh, as tightly as I had hoped it would. So uh, here I, I directly soldered it onto the board and that's going uh, to gonna hold pretty well. And uh, here are some pictures of the finished LiPo, U U LiPo USB charger. I still not figure. I still haven't figured out what I'm gonna call this thing. I'm also gonna to link to the product page where you can buy the the dual USB board, so that you can create this project on your own. It's a nice little project for a for an afternoon when you're uh, stuck in the house and you have nothing better to do. You can finish this in about an hour, maybe less, probably less. If you found this tutorial helpful, please click on the like button below and hit that subscribe button. Let us know if there's anything you'd like to know or if there's a project you want us to do and hit us up in the comments. And also do check out our Patreon page where you can uh, find out what's in store in the coming uh, months, what, what we're up to in the coming few months and uh, also on our longer term projects. And we also have goodies in store for all of our supporters. So do check that out as well. So as always, keep building and keep flying.